Hello, good morning and welcome to St. Ronan's News this Tuesday the 26th of January 2021. Birthdays! Today Constantine celebrates his birthday. Happy birthday Constantine! Hope that day goes really well for you. Hope the weather improves. Looks like it's improving. I have to ask Mr. Andrew what the weather's going to be. Now did you know you share your birthday with... Personal favourite of mine, musician Eddie Van Halen. Uh, Paul Newman. American actor and source producer, and Michael Benteen. This is for the people of a certain age, a British comedian and comic actor. This may refresh a few people's memories. Marvellous. Uh, school news. Today is House Assemblies. Please pop into the correct House Assembly area. Tomorrow will be Midway Assembly and Chapel St. Ronan's Radio for everyone else. Thursday will be Upper Assembly and Chapel St. Ronan Radio for everyone else. I'm sure you can jump into both, not at the same time. And Friday will be Mindfulness and Evensong for the Friday gathering. Looking forward to that. If you are inside the school, you have probably seen that Chapel is now the new Scutari. For viewers that have never been inside our school, Scutari is our medical department and until recently dealt with an array of issues from the pupils from headaches to high temperatures. You name it, Angela and her team have tended to it all. Now with testing has been introduced, Scutari has grown, and we'd like to thank our wonderful staff and volunteers who are manning our new Scutari testing station. It's in the chapel now, it's huge. A big shout out and a clap to you all. Yeah! Thank you so much. Mathletics results. Now Mrs. Bruning has taken pity on me with all of my video editing and has made a video for us all to enjoy. It's gotta be a lot more professional than mine. Here are the results in a picture perfect format. <laughs> Congratulations to you all, and thank you, Mrs. Brewing. Spelling shed results. Oh, here we go. Let's see what we do with the music. It worked last time. A new entry for Toby at five with 12,136,892. Another high climber, this time from Todd, with 15,472,083 in position four. Another new entry from Kit, straight in at number three with 19,280,478. Our highest climber this week is Zach, second place with 60 million. 118,082 and for the third week running Sophie is first again with 63,317,476 Oh, how do I remember that all? That leaves us with class 4 PG in fifth place Midway PF in fourth place uh, Class 4 RP in third position, Shell RP in second position, and Midway JG Group 1 in pole position. I think I've got one wrong. Check here, this will tell you. Whew, that was a marathon and a half. I need a break. Pre prep videos. No, I'm looking forward to this. Year 2 have been learning all about explorers over the past two weeks. The project ended with them making a film to try to get others to join their expedition. Anything from polar to rainforest. Here we have an introduction from the teachers and then Nathaniel and Olive take to the stage. 
Year two children have been doing a really exciting topic on Explorers over the last two weeks and they're choosing to go on an expedition. Look at the weather, it's beautiful. So the teachers are having a treat and we're going on an expedition too. Uh, hi Jacqueline. Steph, what are you doing? Oh, well, I thought we could choose where we wanted to go. I want to go across the ocean like Christopher Columbus. Oh my goodness. What are you doing? Uh, uh, I wanted to be like Robert Scott and go to the South Pole. Isn't that allowed? No. Um, and where's Lucy? Sorry I'm late. I'm ready. Are we going? Lucy, <laughs> what are you doing? Well, you said we could choose where we're going. The children said we could choose. I want to be like Jacques Cousteau. I'm going under the water. Oh my goodness. Well, it's, we haven't got enough time now. You're just as the time I did. Squidger. We've got a hat. We need a squidger. Off we go. Helmet on. Check. Come with me to the moon. Going to the moon, it will be dangerous, difficult, and lonely. But it will also be exciting, adventurous, amazing, and cool on the moon. I need someone who's brave, bold, fearless, and confident to join my team. If you come with me, you'll need to bring oxygen tank, space gloves, a pouch of water and moon boots. Are you ready to sign up and join me? Welcome explorers. Come with me to the Yucatan rainforest in Mexico. We're going to hunt for, an, for the ruins of a lost city. We, it's going to be hot, wet and sticky and a bit dangerous. There's going to be sticky monkeys that steal your food. Oi, that was my <laughs> turn! But it, but it will also be exciting and fun and I also might see some rare species. <laughs> These are the things you need. Not clears. First aid kit. Amazing! That was fantastic! Did you enjoy that? It was superb! More tomorrow! I cannot wait! Jabberwocky time! And today we have George, Ollie and Matthew with their visual version of Jabberwocky. Gentlemen. It was brilliant at the sticky toes, the guy and gimbal and the way, or mimsy with the bog and the mo and bark that way. Beware the jabberwock, my son, with the jaws that bite and the claws that catch. Beware of the jump jab and the bird, and also the shun, the furious bandersnatch. He took his vocal sword in hand, long time the that song, foe he saw. So rested by the tum tum tree and stood wild in thought. And I see a fish, thought he stood, stood the jabberwock with his eyes aflame, whiffling through the tug of the wood, and burbled as it came. One 
two, one, two, and through and through, the vorpal blade went snicker snack. He left it dead with just his head. He went plumbering back. And Hustle Slim, the Jackawaka, come to my arms, my beauteous boy, he shouted in his joy. Very well done, chaps. Nice to see the corridor again. I haven't been there for ages. Uh, farm news now. We're cramming them in. Let's go over and see Debbie. So good morning and a very happy new year from all of us here at Paradise Farm. Here is Lady Emma who's just having her breakfast, hopefully expecting piglets in a couple of weeks. Behind the wieners, which have grown immensely. Also enjoying their breakfast. We moved up to the concrete now as the mud can't sustain them for much longer. You can see how much they've grown. Enjoying their breakfast. Along with Fred. The adorable Barney and the placid Wilma all having their breakfast. Whoops. Being shoved out of the way by Barney. By Fred. Even. Thank you, Debbie, and to all the animals in the film. Now, time to see if any humour has appeared on the bogey hole today. Mr. Palmer, are you awake? Good morning, and you can see behind me, I have my calendrier, which is a clue to the next joke. Okay, I hope you're ready for this. What is a history teacher's favourite fruit? It is, of course, dates. No, no, not one person's asked for him to be removed. Not one. Oh, and now, following on from yesterday's incorrect forecast for the weather yesterday, uh, Karen. Hello. Hello, Hello Karen. Hi, Karen. How are you? Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm very well. Good, good, good. What's up? Oh, so what's the weather going to be? What are you looking at? What's, what's the weather? What? What's up? Terry, I'm looking at your hair. Yes, I know. You've got so many split ends. What are they? What's, what's a split you know, end? You know, where it's... They need a good trim. Uh, no, I remember the last time you touched my hair. No, that's not going to happen. Well, how about... Look, you've worked really hard. How about I do, like, a little spa treatment? Now the hairdressers mm. are shut, I could... You know, you could have a magazine. Mm. I could I could do a sort of nice relaxing head massage, hair wash, mm. condition your ends and we'll see if that perks it up a little bit. Mm, that sounds that, that sounds quite true. No cutting. No, no. Okay. Before we before we do that, what's the yep. weather going to be like tomorrow? Snowing. <laughs> you said yes. Okay. All right, I'll see you in the spa. Down. Terry, come and sit down. Oh, what a long day. I see. Oh, you've got your magazine. You're yep, I've got my magazine. You're all set up. Right, I'm just getting your... So what do you do when you have a hairdressing day? Well, I'm just going to like make a nice um, sort of hair serum up for you. Ooh. Okay, so it's nice Ooh. and relaxing. Ooh. Yeah, I've got, got you positioned nicely by the sink. Well, don't you have to get my hair all wet for a nice little... Um, no, no, no. We, we put the, the, the serum on dry. Serum? Yes. What is that, like a relaxing serum? Yeah. Oh. No, no, just shake it. I'm mixing it up. Oh, okay. Okay. Protect. Okay. 
children when that's been on for 20 minutes and they can see they can see they're how not going to want to watch hair. this this is boring just they having your hair washed how much nicer your hair looks and condition i can tell you that they won't want to see this it's boring oh, okay okay What Hello? have you done to my hair? Oh, Terry. What have you done? Terry. When you said to massage it, yes, I didn't realise I was going to lose all my ash blonde, as Mr Palmer calls it. Look. It's Terry. dark. Terry, you're looking good. You look like Mr Fox. Mr Fox doesn't dye his hair. His hair's all natural. Mine is fake. Oh, it's taken years off you. I don't want years off me. It took me years to get the natural grey look. Oh, Terry, I think it's fine. Children are going to love it. I'm not happy. I'm not happy. <sighs> That's all we have time for. Join us tomorrow for David Scatterborough, more pre-prep videos, Andrew and Liz, and much, much more. Well, I say much, much more, probably a little more. Goodbye, stay safe. What am I gonna do about my hair now? Birthdays! Today we have Constantine. He celebrates his birthday. Oh, I messed up already. Hello, good morning and welcome to St. Mary's News. There's 20... Oh. I'm rushing, I'm rushing.